Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. We're going to play some Kaiser Reich today. We're going to be doing, uh, going to play some Finland. We're going to be going down the socialist route today. And you might be wondering, like, why, why are we back to streaming? What happened to the YouTube-only content? Well, I've been finding it more and more difficult to just sit down and just record video after video after video after video. Uh, typically, I, I record, like, two or three at a time, which is, like... An hour at most. So I feel like if we go back to streaming, uh, I should be able to produce video content a little bit more regularly. At least that's my my intention here. So we're gonna be playing. Uh, we're gonna be playing today for uh, probably two to three hours would be my guess. Probably not enough time to finish off this campaign. We'll probably play more of it on Wednesday would be my guess. Because what I like to do is I like to at least try to stream every every uh, weekday at, at minimum. That, that's my plan for now. Because since we're going into the holiday season, uh, we I should have more free time. Next week's exam week, which might hamper that a little bit. But after that, we'll, it's smooth sailing from there on out. At least that's that, again. That's my plan. Hold, hold me to it if you can. But playing as good old Finland, which I we've done before. Actually, I don't remember when we played as Finland. Let me just double check that. Um, but we're going to be going down. As I said, the social threat, which I haven't done so far. Uh, but it's been on a lot of the polls that I've been putting up. So that that's where you would have uh, seen it. It's got decent views, uh, votes as well. Okay, it was, like, it was like two years ago. That's fine. So we're starting off now with 12 wonderful factories. We're at 3, 1, and 8. So I would like to go for a military factory right away. Right away. We'll build that down in the south. We have an army of 9 divisions. Which is, which is not actually that impressive. But because we're going to be going down the socialist route, we're not really going to be going to war with Russia. Our, our main adversary is more likely than not going to be either Sweden or Finland or, or Norway. Or probably actually, probably both would be my guess. Sweden typically joins the Reichs Pact. I mean, uh, Norway also joins the international pretty often, but they can join the Entente. That is something that we do need to be aware of. Uh, but I'll put these units on the border with uh, Russia for now, just because there's going to be a lot of attrition if we put them up north. Give me my Army-Navy experience. How many trains do we have? Ten? You know what? Ten trains. I will definitely steal 15 from the community. Thank you. Research will go with all of our basics, our radio, uh, machine tools, as well as construction. Fantastic. Naval dockyards. We're going to put that onto convoys for now. Do we actually even have a navy? We have 11 ships. I mean, they're mostly ass. That's okay. I mean, that's more than I was expecting. We also have zero planes. Also cool. Don't worry about you. I mean, actually, Supply Hub. Is there a Supply Hub way up north? I mean, there isn't. We could try to build one. We have four factories right now. How long would this take? You know, just like theoretically, if we were to put this up here, how long would that take? It would take until January 29th, 1938. If I was to instead place a naval base up here, because again, a naval base also works as a supply hub. How long would that take? I mean, again, we put it to the very top. That will take us until July. I mean, 10th of July is really not that bad. Do you know what? Yeah, build, build me a naval base way up north. We'll use that as to uh, bring supplies to our troops when we go to war with Sweden, which is, I'm sure is going to happen. I'd be surprised if it didn't. So the Kingdom of Finland. Following the introduction of the Finnish Declaration of Independence by Pierre Servanhons, the Senate, in the 4th of December, 1917, the subsequent Declaration of Independence from the Russian Republic by Finland on the 6th of December, 1917, Finnish society saw itself divided amongst two groups. The Red Guards, led by Ali Altman, and the White Guards, led by Carl Gustav Emil Mannerheim. It wasn't long before a civil war broke out between Red Finland, uh, which was composed primarily of members of the Social Democratic Party of Finland and White Finland, composed of forces under the Schwedhorn Senate alongside German-trained Jaeger troops. After three months of visual warfare, German-backed Whites were able to push the Reds and the People's Delegation out of Helsinki, and eventually surrounding, surrounded the retreating forces, who were subsequently forced to surrender. Out of the ashes of the, Russian, uh, the Finnish Civil War rose the Kingdom of Finland, a radically anti-socialist nation led by Prince Frederick Charles of Hesse, or King Frederick Karl I, as he had come to be known following his coronation as the King of Finland. Despite enjoying a period of peace and protection as the unofficial German protectorate, 
and a certain sense of political resentment had begun to develop within the Finnish populace due to the pervasiveness of Germany and German-affiliated officers and companies within the Kingdom of Finland. In addition, radicals from both the left and the right have begun to slowly consolidate power after years of ne uh, negligence by the king and a national coalition. Hello. Hello, Jacob. Welcome, welcome. Do I even have supplies for these troops? Apparently, I don't. Okay, you know what? Bro, okay, all of Red Army, just kind of be wherever should be fine. How are you doing today? Okay, friends have been shot. Kornilov stormed Moscow. We will be seeing... Uh, Sanikov take over power in Russia. But that should be, again, it should be okay. Because again, if we're going to be going socialist, Russia is not our main adversary. Our, our main target should be Sweden, Norway, and eventually going to Germany. I don't, can the, the socialists can't take power at this point in Russia, right? I'm pretty sure they can't. Okay. Got a new king of Great Britain, Totalist Charter. I'm not too sure which path we will go down. We either go totalist or we go syndicate to radical socialist. What do we actually have here? 50 political power, 100 political power, growth and efficiency base. Uh, attempt to disband the Red Guard. Expand religious institutions, but these ones actually doesn't matter which of these two we take. More stability. So, I mean, there's, there's, like, a lot of political power, but that's really about it. The Red Guard has a 50 political power, plus a 35% political power gain. Again, these are shared. Plus 100 political power, minus 10% stability. Become a little bit more popular. And for 140 days, we get division organization, research speed, and factory output decreases. And then we get elected officers, which is a negative 10% organization. Cheaper military leader costs, which, I mean, honestly, is not a huge deal with uh, for me. And a little bit more recovery rates. And after that, we get 100 political power as well as lowering other parties. And another 5% stability loss. And you're a negative 100. I mean, based, based on what I'm, what I'm seeing here... Is we'll probably go so syndicals to radical socialists. Just because, I mean, this is just like... There's like three different stability loss modifiers. Like a negative 10 followed by a negative 5. So we get negative 15 and then a plus 10 at the a plus 100 or yeah, plus 10 at the end. Which is not It's not it's not that good. I mean, here we, we get political power, which honestly is like not super impressive, but we get a plus 18% stability as opposed to effectively a negative 5. But then I guess you, you also, like, wipe out all the political power we gain. But we do get the uh, the tax benefit. So we'll probably go Syndicalist or uh, Radsock, would be my guess. Black Might has hit Finland. It seems as though the Kingdom of Finland has not yet been able to bypass the economic hardship faced by the German Empire and other members of the Middle Europa. With the plummeting of the Berlin Shock Exchange on the 3rd of February, the German uh, Empire's economy was set into freefall, bringing down with it a substantial chunk of the world. This economic downturn has hit the Kingdom of Finland at the very unfortunate time due to problems at home and abroad. It is no secret that many that uh, to many that, despite being an agrarian nation, Finland does not possess much arable land and thus struggles to feed its population by itself. This has left the Kingdom of Finland in a position where it is forced to purchase Ukrainian grain in order to properly sustain its populace and avoid further dissent. On top of this all, however, is mounting dissent from the Finnish people, who have slowly yet surely begun to radicalize and call for an end of dependency on the Germans. Uh, Black Monday is only uh, granted further legitimacy to radical movements, such as the Lupa movement and the Finnish People's Delegation. They have slowly begun making a comeback, uh, giving the radical groups greater impetus. Demonstrations have already uh, sprung up in many areas, and it seems as though the King of Finland is hanging on by a thread. Excellent. So Black Monday for us. I mean, honestly, it's not so bad. I mean, construction speed, factory output, those are kind of to be expected. It's it's really not horrible. So we have Black Monday completed. Not paternal autocrat. We are paternal autocrat. So I'm assuming there's going to be a rebellion happening very, very, very soon. So we got foreign policy, which after 38. We can go diplomacy or aggressive expansion. Is syndicalist, is social democrat. If we're totalist, I mean, actually, for syndicalist, we can go either way on this as well. We got war support, attack Norway. 
One of the following is true. Must be totalist or national populist. Claim uh, Tronenheim. We also need to be totalist or national populist. So if you want to be a little bit more expansionist, we need to go down the totalist route. Do we need all of these? I mean, we'd have to go to war with Russia. We can settle the Russian issue. Diplomatic relation with you. With Sweden and Norway. Approach Denmark. Assert neutrality. But I don't want to assert neutrality, right? Because, I mean, we want to join the International. I'm, not, I'm really not too sure which of these two uh, options we want to really go for. Completed a new Finland, proud st Finland, stable Finland, or a moderate Finland. And yeah, you, yeah you're a new Finland. So we got we to complete our uh, focus right here first. I mean... I mean, probably will go down the aggressive expansion route would be would be my guess. It, it seems it, we'll probably go aggressive expansion. The Peasant March. Aiming to undermine a national coalition and progress Finnish nationalism, the Lupa movement, uh, breaking with their existing ties to the party, have begun the so-called Peasant March in Helsinki, uh, which tens of thousands of Finns have attended. Led by several prominent far-right Finnish nationalists, Kurt Marti Runius among them, the march was chanted for the emancipation of the Kingdom of Finland from the German oppressors. Indeed, King Frederick Karl has been worried about by the recent uptick in anti-monarchist and ultra-nationalist sentiment, seeing uh, the marches as a mere opportunism and a ploy by the far right to destabilize the Kingdom of Finland. As it stands, the coalition between the National Coalition and Lupa movement have already been shaky in recent years, and this blatant attack against the monarchy has only uh, served to sever the ties between the monarchist and the ultra-nationalist. Okay, the national populists get a little bit more popular. We did lose a little bit of political power. Who do we actually have a political advisors? Most of them we don't actually have, and most of them require you to be a certain ideology. So we, we're probably not going to take anybody until we actually become socialist. Otherwise, they might get kicked out of government, which means we're basically just throwing political power into the into the dumpster, which I would prefer to avoid if at all possible. Okay, manpower is low. Don't worry about that too much. I mean, we're, I mean, we're Finland. What is our population? 3.68 million? Like, we're never going to be able to really field an incredibly large army. Our, our main... Like, like, the main thing we can probably do is kind of, like, fund other countries in our, in our faction with rifles. Because there's no way we're going to be able to effectively utilize all the equipment we probably make. The Finnish People's Delegation Protest. Many Finnish soldiers are still in exile after the Civil War. Anil Awari is among those that have petitioned the return of Finland. Uh, he's associated with the IWW and other foreign syndicalist parties, but he did not take part in the Finnish Civil War personally. Regardless of that, such agitator has not been allowed to return, and neither has his colleague like Oskar Toki and Otto Wille Kusten. A substantial minority within the SDP and the socialists that have been forced underground by the government wish to see them return, while some of the more moderate liberals in the Kingdom of Finland oppose this conviction on the grounds of impartiality by the Supreme Treason Court. In any case, it uh, comes as a surprise uh, to many that the socialists who had been largely eradicated and forced on the ground have finally come out of hiding to protest. Many of the more rabidly anti-socialist politicians have begun cursing in the name of the syndicalists or sabotaging the current financial instability within the kingdom for a mere political opportunism. Okay. Can I spend this political power on anything before I lose 75 of it? Is there anything I can spend it on, like, right now? Radio propaganda. We, can't, we actually need radio for that. Interesting. I mean, I guess we could get, like, a really trash... I mean, infantry expert, or, like, infantry specialist is always good, even if he's not the best he could be. What about you? Army planning, army offense. I mean, you have a genius here. 15% defense. He's not already hired elsewhere. Is not the current country leader. Okay, so you, your manor high. I mean, I, okay, we're going to lose our political power. I, I really can't spend it on anything that I want to right now. Okay, Famine and Szechuan is not a major concern of ours. We could get radio. And if we get radio and then world tension goes up to 25%, we can boost up our own war support, which would be nice. You know, radio, our um, mechanical computing, we'll get that first. 
More uh, research speed. It never hurt anybody. I'm, ass I'm assuming it's never hurt anybody. But if anybody has anything uh, to counter that, I would love to hear it. The Red Guard and Lupa Movement Clash. Terrible news arrived from literally uh, apparent, uh, from uh, Rapuri. Apparently, it seems as though the Lupa Movement has decided to take matters into their own hands, and following the news of the resurgence of the Finnish People's Delegation, have decided to hunt down any remaining Cyniclists in the hopes of rooting them out. It seems as though the hunt did not go as planned, however, as the Red Guard, who appeared to be working with the People's Delegation, made an appearance. Uh, reports have described the violent fighting as broken up between the two groups, with the clash proving to be inconclusive as neither side was able to gain the upper hand. Eventually, however, the fighting down died down. King Frederick Karl and the National Coalition have been very worried about the ongoing events, as they have only served to uh, further sow the seed of dissent of, uh, within the Finnish population, while also destabilizing the Kingdom of Finland. Radio super important for Finland. I think we'll, we'll get in next. When I mean, actually, if yeah, you're 36 tech, we'll we'll probably get it after our uh, research bonus is done. King Frederick Carl makes a decision, turning his attention towards recent events, most worrying the various clashes between the Lupa movement and the Red Guard. King Frederick Carl has been deliberating with some uh, regards to allow the SD Kapochli uh, to take a more active role in pacifying the radicals, so as to set a precedent that dissent is no longer be tolerated. Many of the hardline anti-socialists in the King's cabinet have advocated for doing so, saying that a precedent of intervention on behalf of the government is important, alongside the strengthening of the state police, lest the clash should spiral out of control into a full open revolt. On the other hand, however, moderate conservatives within the National Coalition, alongside the Social Democrats, have advocated for letting the situation be and have made a point that dissent within the Kingdom of Finland is already high enough that any government intervention could lead to ordinary citizens joining in to take radical action. It is clear, however, that the king must uh, make a choice and fast lest a current window of opportunity escape. Well, okay, we're going to save here because, again, I, if we're going to go socialist, I got to make sure we actually take the uh, the right options here. Let me see, because I had a... Um... Okay, how to go socialist... Finland, Kaiser Reich. I had a little guide up, and now I have uh, I, I close it for streaming. I don't know why I did that. Okay, I think we got to send in the state police. We'll try to crush them, and hopefully that'll radicalize more and more people against the king and our government. And, and, if, and if we end up uh, crushing the protest, then we'll just reload the save, and it's not a big deal. Officer core. I mean, we'll just save for land auction, right? Bad weather penalty minus 40% night fighting. Close combat positioning. Thing is, like, we don't have a big, we don't have a big uh, navy. You know, let's not worry. <laughs> let's not worry about that. The king's speech. In order to act as a unifying figurehead for the Kingdom of Finland in these troubling times, King Frederick Karl has uh, turned towards giving a speech to the people in order to reconcile with certain segments of the population, also strengthening the position of his supporters. Uh, given in the Parliamentary House in Helsinki and broadcast through radio to Finns all across the nation, the King has called for a number of things during these times. Most notably, he has called upon the Finnish people to come together in order to ensure the stability of the Kingdom of Finland and reject the radicalism of the far left and the far right. Joining uh, with him are members of the National Coalition, most notably members of the more hardline anti-social wing of the party. Whether or not this will change anything, uh, that much remains to be seen. I mean, a little bit of stability, that's nice, right? We love stability. Well, somebody's got to, and uh, you know what? I, I will be that somebody. Okay, machine tools are done. Let's go concentrated... You know what? I'm thinking, I, I always take concentrated industry. I don't even remember what dispersed industry actually gives you. I mean, you get 5% more factory output. Docker output's the same. Retention and base is higher. Well, I mean, is retention and base, is that better than 5% factory output? Probably, right? Have I been making the wrong decision my entire, <laughs> my entire Hoi 4 career? And also make them less vulnerable to bombs, but I never, I've never really found that to actually be a big issue. I 
Yeah, the question mainly is five is five percent factory output worth higher attention, higher base. I mean, it's five percent, but then eventually becomes like ten percent, fifteen percent. But I mean, the effect the efficiency base goes up by five percent. Which will make the base cap 5% higher. Production efficiency. Base and retention goes up. So the base goes up by 5%. You know what? Let's do it, man. We, we, we never take this person industry. Let's do it this time. I bet you there's probably like a, a whole Reddit post that's like 3,000 words that complete that describe which one's actually better. It may, maybe I'll look into that one day, but who knows. Okay, the White Guard. Kurt Marty Wilness, leader of the Fringe Loop of Movement, has taken the opportunity to rally members of the White Guard, many of whom have turned to, to throwing their support behind a party in order to achieve true independence for Finland and the Finnish people. In Helsinki, members of the White Guard assembly in front of the elite Jaggers in a demonstration of power and a show of solidarity. Both sides stood to the ground and for a long time, yet no fighting took place. While King Frederick Karl let out a sigh of relief on hearing the positive news of lack of fighting, many politicians and loyal military advisors have become worried as they feel that this might be the beginning of a brewing storm. Yeah, no, let, let's... I want the storm. The storm, the storm is good. I, I, I do not want Helsinki to have a stable government as it does not benefit us. Okay, we have high commands. Again, I mean, none of them seem that good for us. Can I take, I mean, we could, we could immediately go to like um, partial mobilization. Okay, we're gonna do another save here because I feel like works on strike probably does matter. Okay, but due to the effects of black money on the Kingdom of Finland, Finnish workers have seen prices rise, wages sharply decrease, and rising unemployment. This has, of course, led to an issue in which many Finnish workers have found it difficult to make ends meet. A general sense of rising impatience and helplessness have risen among the workers, who now have taken it upon themselves to seize the opportunity and exploit the current instability to demand greater wages and better working conditions. So we lose our political power or we have... Do not concede. Do not, do not give the workers anything. They're big dorks. They, they don't deserve rights. And also, I didn't want to lose 100 political power. I, I've worked along. I've worked long and hard to, to, to get this political power in my pocket. And I'm not going to let the workers take that away from me. Absolutely not. Okay, decisions available. We could take more trains, but I honestly don't. I don't think more trains are necessary. Oh, is that how long until you're done? You are done on the 25th of August. Okay, so, so like next month. The Lupa Movement's foil plot. Uh, apparently, King Federer Carl's decision to send state police to disrupt any, uh, any sort of uh, potential plastic in the Kingdom of Finland, which has faced much opposition from the moderate conservatives and social democrats, have worked out in his favor. Plot by the Lupa Movement to create mass instability throughout the Kingdom of Finland and seize power, uh, thereby claiming an independent Finnish nation, was recently foiled by the state. Kurt Martin Wilnes, uh, known as leader of the Lupin movement, was arrested and the party itself was forced to disband. Many prominent leaders who were able to avoid retribution have went into hiding. Among them was Vilno Adla, who was seen to create a similar party to the Lupa movement, the Patriotic People's Movement. Okay, so we get 15% more stability. So the... Oh, did, does that mean that we've, uh, the monarchy? The National Coalition must be in power for this to fire. Have I have I screwed this up? Did I did I take the uh, the wrong decision here? I potentially yes. So it goes over to monarchy. I'm not, that's also to join the Reichs Pact. Does that get rid of, um... And we still have mounting descent. So I'm, I'm honestly, I'm not too sure. Like, you know, let's give it like a month or so. 
I mean, because we didn't get any events about the Syndicalist. I mean, they only have only like 5% popularity, so maybe it's not a uh, huge deal. Is this what? Okay. Okay, they've been four. Okay, never mind. We, we gotta we got reload the save game. Excellent. So we gotta go back to here. I, ap I apologize for for this brief interruption. We're not gonna read any events though. We've, we've read the events. We'll, we'll be fine on that. Okay, let's let everything.